Hello, in this tutorial we'll be creating our own rock paper scissors game in C Sharp. The player will be up against a computer and the first one to reach 3 points wins. First of all, let's create two integers for the players and enemy score. So let's create an integer called player score and set it to 0. And let's create an integer called enemy score and also set that to 0. Then let's print a welcome message for our game. So let's say welcome to rock paper, scissors and then afterwards let's create the main loop for our game so we'll want our game to keep looping until either the player or the enemy reaches 3 points so let's type while player score is not equal to 3 and enemy score is not equal to 3 then the game will loop then inside our loop let's print out the current scores so player score so that's player score then enemy score plus enemy score then afterwards let's print out some instructions for the player so let's type please enter r for rock p for paper or anything else for scissors Next we'll need to retrieve the player's answer. So let's create a string called player choice and then set this to console.readsline. So great, we've now got our player's choice and then next we'll need to get the enemy to make their own choice. So in order to do this, let's come back to the top of our program and create a random called random and initialize it. And then let's create an integer for our enemy choice and set it to random.next 0 to 3. So here we enter 0 as our lower bound and 3 as our upper bound. As the lower bound is inclusive, then the highest number generated will be 0. And as the upper bound is exclusive, the higher number generated will be 2. So if 0 is generated, then enemy would have chosen rock. If 1 is generated, then an enemy's chosen paper, and if 2 is generated, then an enemy's chosen scissors. Then, let's create a series of if statements that will print out what the enemy choice was. So if enemy choice is 0, enemy chooses rock, else if the enemy's choice was 1, then the enemy's chosen paper and then else meaning the enemy's generated two let's print enemy chooses scissors now within these if statements we'll be figuring out whether the player or the enemy has won the round based on their choices so in our first if statement let's create a switch statement for the player's choice, so switch player choice. Then let's handle the case that the player has chosen R. So here, this would mean that both the enemy and the player has chosen rock, so it would be a tie. So let's print tie and then break. Next, let's handle the case that the player has chosen paper. So here, the player has chosen paper and the enemy has chosen rock. So this would mean that the player has won the round. So let's print a message saying player wins this round. And then beneath that, let's increase the player's score by one. And then once again, let's break. And then finally, let's handle the case that the player has entered anything else. So to do this, we'll use defaults. So this default will be executed if none of the cases above have been executed. So here, this would mean that the enemy has chosen rock and the player has chosen scissors. So this would mean that the enemy has won this round. So let's type enemy wins this round. Then let's increase the enemy score by one and then finally break.
So great, we've now handled who would win or lose if the enemy chose rock. So next, let's focus on completing these other two if statements. So here, let's create another switch for the player's choice. So under the case that the player chooses rock and the enemy chooses paper, then let's write a message saying enemy wins this round increase the enemy score by one and then break now let's handle the case that the player has chosen paper so here the enemy has chosen paper and this player has chosen paper meaning that we can print tie break and then finally default meaning the player did not choose rock or paper meaning they've chosen scissors then we can print the player wins this round as scissors beat paper and then increase the player's score by one and then break. Finally in our else statement where the enemy chooses scissors, once again let's switch the player's choice. So under the case that the player has chosen rock, so here rock beat scissors meaning that the player has won this round and then let's increase their score by one and let's break now let's handle the case that they've chosen paper so here the enemy chosen scissors the player has chosen paper so this would mean that the enemy has won this round enemy wins this round and then let's increase the enemy score by one and then break and then finally default so here the enemy has chosen scissors and the player has chosen scissors so it's a tie and then let's break so great now we finish rewarding our points to the player or enemy based on whether they've won the round or not so finally outside of our while loop after the game has ended Let's check if a player is one or not. So if player score is equal to three, then we can print you win. And then else we can print you lose. And with that, our game is now complete. So let's give it a test. So it says, welcome to rock, paper, scissors, prints out our scores and then gives us our instructions so let's choose rock so it says the enemy chooses scissors so it says we win this round our score increases by one so let's try paper so the enemy chooses scissors and they win the round and then their score increases so let's try anything else so s so the enemy also chooses scissors and it's a tie so let's keep going And then finally, we lose the last round and it says we lose. And with that, our Rock Paper Scissors game is now complete. If you would prefer to see the written version, then the link for the blog post will be in the description. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial and I'll see you in the next.